liberty for different reasons, but that should bring us together. And this whole idea that the world has to be divided because they're going to say, we want to see the outcome. We want to have equality of outcome, and they don't like individual initiative. Yes, it is something that you have to accept, that uh, to have your freedom and make your choices about your, your intellectual life, your uh, spiritual life, and uh, what you do with your own body. Uh, with the rule that you can't hurt anybody else, it, it means that uh, you may do very well. If you have economic liberty, you're going to have a much better chance of having a, 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 you know, being able to make a good living, which you can squander or you can help or you can donate, you can do what you want. But if you, if you have your liberty and it doesn't work out, you take the chances, or if you think you have personal liberty and use drugs and get into trouble, you don't have a right to blame somebody else. What you want is you want your liberty and assume the responsibility for it and assume that you are responsible for your own life, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and doing your best to get other people to agree with us that it's about time, time we change this. If we can have a, you know materialistic type of changes with liberty and have a magnificent uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, revolution in industrial production and all these things. Why can't we have a revolution in ideas on how we treat our fellow man? Because that's been around for a long time. The biggest job will be making sure the government lives with those regulations as well. I want to thank you very much. Thank you.